here we go back at it again it is hot i mean extremely hot guys it is only nine o'clock in the morning and it's already over 90 degrees and it's made fishing very tough i got water temperatures that are well over 90 degrees i was marking temp uh, surface temperatures at 94 degrees the other day the bass have moved to the deepest structure they can find to try to keep themselves cool and they're not moving fast they're spread way out especially when you're dealing with lakes like i'm dealing with it's hard to find them and especially if you're shore fishing well your chances are very very limited the only way we're really catching them right now is by using live bait and shiners and as effective as fishing with live bait can be it doesn't always make the greatest video for you guys well if i gotta go to rome and i gotta act like a roman and i gotta fish with live bait i might as well try to teach you guys something and challenge myself to make it a little more interesting so what did we come up with headlining baby that's right today I'm gonna work out with some of the biggest live bait that I can find, these wild shiners, and I'm gonna try to see if I can catch a bass on a hand line. Woo! Look at the size of these things. This has proved to be a very tough challenge. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, shiner. I think we got one. We got one. Oh, he just came off. Yes. Guys, guys I think we're on a fish. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got some. Oh my God, this is strong. He's up. Oh Jesus! What? A, oh, <laughs> that's fun. Now I've got very little experience using hand lines. I'm doing things very simply here. I've got about a 15 pound monofilament on here. I know what a lot of you guys are gonna say. Holy, 15 pounds! It is a heavy line for sure. I don't have the flex and give of a rod. I don't have the drag system on a reel. This is gonna be a straight pull, my muscles against that bass's muscles directly on that line. So I chose 15 pound test, and that gives me the best opportunity to be able to, to pull these fish in. The other reason I chose monofilament, monofilament does have a bit of a stretch to it. And I'm hoping that's gonna help me out a little bit if I get into a big heavy bass out here. The other thing I'm doing is just very simple. I've got a circle hook on here. I figure I'm not gonna have a real good hook set. The circle hook's gonna better my odds. At least I'm hoping. I'm gonna put on one of these giant wild shiners. I'm gonna pitch it out as far as I can, and hopefully we pull in some beautiful bass today. These wild shiners are caught out of these waters, so they're a little more accustomed and they last quite a bit longer. But you gotta have a good bucket with a good lid when you're dealing with these wild shiners because they are jumpers. I mean, they are massive if you can see them down there, guys. Woo! Strong, strong, strong. Look at the size of these things. Yeah, we're going with big bait for big bass today, guys. I'm gonna put that circle hook right through the bottom of his jaw, out through the top of his nose. And that's a really hard part. It's actually bending my hook to get through. That's gonna allow him to really swim around freely. And I'm just freelining, guys. No bobbers, no anything else. Let's let this massive shiner do what he's gotta do now. <laughs> Casting a hand line, it's not easy. There is a little meth uh, method to this here. <laughs> As you see with my hand line here, there's two ends, a flat end and a sloped end. When you cast that out, you wanna point that sloped end out so the line can run off it. I'm gonna let that shiner swim around. It's gonna be difficult for sure of knowing whether that's a shiner swimming, because these are massive strong fish. I've caught a lot smaller fish than I'm using for bait today. I'm hoping if I feel that line just pull away real fast, we know that there's a bass on the end. At least that's the theory. I had to cast that shiner back out there again. I cast him way out that side. Next, I start reeling it up. He was all the way back underneath the dock already. Wow, this shiner is swimming real good, guys. He's moving pretty quick. This is gonna be the difficult part is trying to tell whether this is the shiner or a fish actually has him. This is a tough challenge. It, free line and giant shiners is a challenge in its own. But trying to do it with the hand line and tell what's really going on down there, this is gonna be tough. Um, I cast him way out there and he's cru cruised all the way along there. Keep going, swim right into a big bass's mouth. Come on, buddy. Meet your maker. He's taking me all around the pier from one side to the next. These shiners are just so big, they're very strong. 
well we're still trying this has proved to be a very tough challenge come to another area here a new spot lots of floating weeds here i actually scoped this area out yesterday and none of this weed was here well just adding more challenge let's toss one of these big bad boy shiners out here and see if we can't get anything in this area a little more of a challenge of course here with all the weeds if anything does happen to take this well we're gonna have a heck of a time that's for sure shiner's running around pretty good that's good news definitely a difficult spot here the shiner's already swam me up underneath all this weed here Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Shiner. They just killed him. I can't tell what that was. Either the Shiner just took off, got me into those weeds. I think that's all it was. Oh, wait, guys, guys, I think we got a fish. I, I think we got one. We got one. Oh, he just came off. I had one. He definitely had. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. He mashed up that shiner good. We definitely had a fish. Oh, man. Oh, damn. Well, hey, that's a lot better than we've done earlier. Let's try this again. Let's get another one out there. Wow, that really sucked, guys. That was definitely a fish on. I don't know what it was. I never got to see it. I thought the shiner was, it was just the shiner taking off. So I started trying to keep him out of the weeds. And sure enough. Oh man. Well, let's let's go back. Let's see if we can do that again. I really thought it was just the shiner. I should have let it keep running. The fish that actually had it could have taken its turn chance to turn around and swallow it. He was really just holding on to it. Never even had the hook. All I got to see was a little flash of him right by the shore here. We need to spit out the shiner. Curious as to why this particular shiner is not running we got a dead shiner already a dude dead shiner what the hell what the hell happened? actually he looked like he got pretty beat up already let's try this again there it goes either that shiner is running or something's got it again it's moving pretty quick i'm gonna let it keep running whatever it is i don't think that's the shiner guys i think we might have another fish on that's moving way faster than any shiner I've dealt with today. Yes. Yes. Guys, I think we're on a fish. I think we're on a fish. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got some. We got one. We definitely got some, guys. I don't know what we got. Oh, my God. This is strong. This is really strong, guys. Really, really strong. Uh, he's up. Oh, Jesus. What? A, oh, a bowfin? What is this? A big bowfin? Oh my god, it's a huge bowfin. Holy crap, that is the that's gotta be the biggest, fattest bowfin I've ever caught. My god, guys, look at the size of this thing. Look at the size of that bowfin. Woo! I tried to hit like a bass, got a bowfin. Oh my god, he's huge. Yeah, I've caught bowfin way longer, but this guy is so fat. Wow, that was quite the fight, guys. Hand lining something like this. This is not not easy. I don't got line everywhere. Wow, look at that guys. Look how fat that bowfin is. That's incredible. That circle hook right in the corner of the mouth, just like it's supposed to do. There we go. And we got it. We're gonna get this guy back in the water here. But that's not bad, guys. We finally got a fish on the hand line. It's not what we were after, but it's definitely a beauty. Oh, <laughs> that's fun. That's fun. I don't care what it was. I want a bass, but I'll take that. There he goes. Awesome. Awesome. Let's see if we get another one. Let's see if we get a better one. Well, here's my shiner that he spit out. Chopped him up real good. I got line everywhere. <laughs> I just abandoned the reel. <laughs> and just started pulling by hand might have quite a mess here that was so much fun that was definitely not the species we were after oh, man terrible cast not the species we were after at all but a lot of fun and a big fish and i mean the, the challenge really is 
a hand line challenge. It'd be nice to catch bass. That's really what I what I was hoping to do. But to catch anything on the hand line is is pretty impressive, if you ask me. Man, can't seem to cast now. <sighs> Man, that was so much fun. I mean, I don't care if I catch another bowfin. Really, I just want to catch something else on this because that that was crazy. Well, guys, guys, we're on. We got another fish on. Definitely running. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. I feel him. We got something again. I don't know what we got this time. Oh, he's running. He's running into the weeds. Oh, he just spit it. Oh, no. Oh, I think that was another bowfin. Oh, man. I didn't let him have it long enough. Damn it. This is tough, guys. Very, very tough. Got line everywhere again. All right, guys. This challenge just keeps on going. It is definitely one of the toughest challenges I've done. It's not entirely difficult to handle a fish when you get it on a hand line. It's actually catching the fish in the first place. And it's a lot to do with what I'm dealing with out here today. It is still incredibly hot. The fish just aren't cooperating the way we like to. And now, looks like I'm about to get a storm. Definitely, definitely a tough challenge, but I'm bound and determined I got to catch a bass. That bullfin was really cool. It was definitely a great fight. Always fun to catch anything that's a, a good fight like, uh oh, he came off the hook. Now conditions are a little bit different here. It's fairly shallow here. It does get a little deeper out in the middle. In fact, it'll get out to about 15 feet. Uh, is the deepest that I've been able to mark. See, I got lightning in front of me. This is, this might not be so much fun, guys. The things I do to try to complete a challenge. I'm not ready to call this challenge a failure just yet. Wow, look at the wind picking up. Oh, things are about to get nasty, guys. That wind just took off. Oh, wow. Look at that lightning go. Got lightning. A thunder do i got a bass would that be amazing oh my god i'm about to get hammered here guys i don't want to waste the shiner i only got six of them wow the things i do for you guys to try to produce quality videos for you guys to keep you entertained and i'm facing a storm but I don't want to be standing out here on this dock in a lightning storm, that's for sure. I don't know where that shiner ended up at. I think he swam right back in at me. Did that little bugger. He's up under my dock. Look at that. What a little jerk. This is getting nasty, guys. That wind is whipping. Whipping right in my face. He's good. This is not working out at all. Hard to cast against. Got a gale force wind going on here. Hand line and giant shiners in a storm. What the heck am I thinking? Well, one good thing though. Holy crap, look at that lightning. It's cooled it down quite a bit. Oh, man. <laughs> He's not having a good day. Well, he's free. He just pulled off that hook. Sounds like a good omen as to let that shiner go anyway. We're going to have to call it quits here. What a challenge. Well, with that storm finally passed, we're ready to get back at it again. Look at that. There's my hook. There's my shiner. I cast him way out there. I seen him swimming back in. He must have slipped the hook. Whoa, this challenge just keeps getting harder and harder, guys. Where are you going, little shiner? Would be a killer is if I see him get slammed right now. That would be the absolute slap in the face. This is definitely a challenge. This is a much harder challenge than I expected. You don't realize how much advantage you have having a rod and a line. Uh, and a reel to be able to really control 
where these fish are going to kind of dictate what's going to happen. Relying on a hand line like this, yeah, and these giant wild shiners, this is very difficult. This challenge has been, wow, very, very tough to say the least. Trying to control these giant shiners, trying to keep them into a, a, a proper strike zone, it's just not easy, guys. Fishing with these giant, giant wild shiners with a hand line has proven to be very difficult. And I hate to say it, but I am losing. We did catch one really nice bowfin, and we lost a couple other fish, so we did have some success. Oh, man, he pulled me into the into the lily pads over here. Oh wow, he's way deep in those pads. That that's not good. Oh, see, this is this is a problem. If I had had a rod, I'd be able to see where this that this guy was actually traveling in towards those pads. No shiner though. Jeez. Well, we got one left, guys. And that's pretty good because I am about to call it quits and give up on this all together. One big last giant shiner. The fate of the world rests on your shoulders, big guy. Oh, geez, you're huge too. Wow, look at the size of this guy. Big giant bait. <laughs> Big giant bait hand line, and this is ridiculous. What is it? This guy's all caught up in the weeds again. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's way back in all those lily pads, way back there. How did he even get there without me seeing? This is impossible, guys. Whoa. He just pulled like crazy all of a sudden. Is that him? Is there a fish on this thing? That would be insane. Yeah, that shiner just pulled like crazy. There's a bass on it. Oh my god. Oh no. There was a bass on him. Oh my god. He had a, a fish had him. That's what happened. Oh my god. Well, guys, <laughs> I'm going to call this challenge to be determined. Hopefully, we'll come back and try it again. Guys, Today has been an incredible challenge. We had a moderate amount of success out here today. Can I call today a challenge complete? I don't know. I'm gonna let you guys be the judge on that. We've proven that you can catch fish, but I've also shown how very difficult this challenge can be. This is a frustrating challenge. I've been at it all day long. If you think this challenge can be a success and there's another way to do it, go ahead, leave a comment. Or I challenge you, if you think you can do any better, go ahead, make a video and show me, prove me wrong. If you really want to see me try this again, you think it can be, leave a comment in there and say, I believe in it. Try it again, and I'll do another one of these handline challenge videos for you guys. But guys, get out there, try something different, challenge yourself, put yourself to some a new test. Grab a handline, grab the biggest live bait you can, and see if you can do better than I did. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope you did like it, and I hope you learned a little something. If you did, make sure you smash the heck out of that like button. And leave a comment for me on anything else you'd like to see me try to film. I'll do my very best to make a video out of each and every one of those. But most importantly, guys, subscribe to that channel. And if you're already subscribed, well, stay subscribed because there's plenty more coming in Sawgrass Bass's future. One last guy, time, guys, from hot, hot, hot North Florida fishing with gigantic live bait and a handline. It's Captain Mikey signing out. The future is bright. You keep those lines tight.